Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Maria and in this video I will show you how you can easily make two beautiful watercolor bookmarks yourself. For this small project I used 300 grams watercolor paper. I cut them to a size of 7 by 21 centimeters. Um, other things you need for these bookmarks are brushes, watercolors, masking tape and ink pen. And let's go! I will put the masking tape on the first bookmark. This one will have a spring design with dandelions and the message piece. From watercolors you need a couple of shades of green and blue and a little bit of kitchen paper towel. I will lightly write piece with a pencil and draw a few circles where there will be dandelions and a flu flying seeds. When you are happy with the design, outline everything with an ink pen. Now that everything is ready to paint, apply a light layer of water to the paper with a clean brush to blend the paint nicely. I'll start with the green background first. For the background I use a lighter shade of green and for the stamps a darker one. While the paint is still wet, soak it in a place of dandelions with a paper towel.
about the green, I will add a little blue to paint the sky. A little more grass and this bookmark is almost finished. I let the paint dry. In the meantime, let's go make another bookmark. I imagine this one in the spirit of love, with small hearts and the inscription love. First, I will lightly draw the design with a pencil. I will write love first, then three small flags on the top. In the middle, a few hearts and at the bottom, a simple rose with two leaves. For this bookmark, I will use only pink and a little green. As with the first bookmark, I will now outline everything with an ink pen.
the piece bookmark has dried, so I'll take the masking tape off. I'm happy with the look. It looks very refreshing, isn't it? I love recycling, so I will use this same tape for another bookmark. Coloring for this bookmark will be easier. First apply a light layer of water on the paper and then just a little pink and green detail on the hearts, flower and flags. I will also add a little pink along the edge.
Now that they're both painted, let's add some string to them. I will pierce a small hole at the top and thread a natural rope through each. I will also add a small wooden detail to the strings to make them look even more lovely. And with this detail we are done. Now you just need to put them in some book you are reading. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, click the like button and leave your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye bye!